What's up guys, Greeny and Fi. Today I'm gonna take you along with me for a regular retiree expat type of day in Thailand. Haven't been going on any trips lately, so I'm just gonna show you what I kinda do for an average day out here in the Pattaya area. Right now, Fi found some little coffee shops. She's always exploring for different types of coffee shops. She found some coffee shop. You gotta go down this crazy dirt road. Hey, where are you taking me? Is this actually a road that there's a coffee shop on? <laughs> Why would somebody, who's gonna open a business on this road? Sorry guys, this might be a little bumpy. She decided to take me off-roading to go to a new coffee shop. It's next to the railroad tracks here. So this is actually the railroad that takes you all the way down from uh, uh, Santa Hip and it'll take you all the way to Bangkok actually. It takes you to Pattaya, to, uh, to uh, Sriracha and uh, yeah, this is it. There's the little train station right there. That's the one in Na Jom Tien and it's uh, about a four or five hour train ride from that one to Bangkok and it's only about a dollar. I think it's like 39 baht, which is like a dollar US. It'll take you all the way to Bangkok. Takes you to Ekamai, but it's a very long way. So she found this coffee shop in the middle of nowhere and we're gonna check it out. PN Works Cafe. How'd you find this place? Because I am um, the girl that she going to make the Babe. eyelash. What? The girl that she making the eyelash in my shop. Um, she have another coffee. This is her Plus, shop? I think so. Right. I'm not sure if she working here. Alright. If that explained anything. Oh wow, that's pretty cool for a little coffee shop in the middle of nowhere. Sweaty cap. Oh nice, oh the students come all the way over here for the coffee shop. So these kids are all go to the engineering school. Um, it's the Thai Austrian school that's right by our, where we live over in that area. And um, these are all real smart kids, I've talked to a few of them. They're just chilling, playing a little uh, chess at the coffee shop. That university is right over on uh, Sukhumvit Road. Oh, there's an upstairs. Let me go check that out. They got some Jenga. Kids are playing Jenga here. They must ride their motorbikes over here from the university. Oh, it looks like co-working space up here too and stuff. Or for the kids to do studying and whatever. The university, there's uh, the buildings by Sukhumvit Road out there, and that's where the university is. I've been feeling so small, watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight. So you guys have heard of other breeds, and usually you see the soy dogs here, but this is a purebred, like, Thai. This is actually like a Thai type of dog here. Can you ask him if he knows the name of that type kind of dog? Um, I haven't even seen a dog like this here before, but it's a good looking dog. This puppy's real nice too. Oh, Ridge. It's like a Ridge back. Okay. Thai Ridge dog. He's a train uh, like, him to train him to sit. He sit and he gets the food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big boy not sit. Oh. Let's see. Like <laughs> it is sandstorm, right? We're gonna have lunch here at Freshella. This place, Freshella, was a little like smoothie shop here, and the big restaurant was Mamasuki. 
Mamasuki went out of business. Freshella bought the other side. And now it's this huge complex. They got great Western and Thai food. I loves it. I can get my Western food or Thai food, whatever I want. And uh, I'll show you what we get in here. This is over in Bang Saray, which is right on Sukhumvit Road outside of the main city of Bang Saray. So they just got new menus actually from last time we are here. So they got a Western menu. And then does yours say Thai or no? Yeah, Thai. So I'll show you guys the Western menu. Thai food's the regular Thai. Wow. Barbecue pork pulled burger. Holy cow. It really, ex oh, chips and gravy. Oh, wow. I might get a baked potato. All right, so I wanted to get a jack potato, but they said all their things, like they make the lasagna, and once they sell out, they sell out. They make a certain amount of potatoes, and once they sell out, they sell out for the day. So I'm gonna have to get here earlier in the day to try the potato. I ended up getting a cottage pie. I'll show you guys what that looks like in a minute. Pie Pie here just got her second coffee. Head to that coffee place, they have good coffee here too. Show them a the little thing there. So she's gonna be bouncing off the wall. I'm glad that after this, I'm dropping her off at work. She can bounce off her walls in the nail shop. And I'll say bye bye, five five. Crispy pork. Mm. Wow, those are some big pieces. It's not that little stuff, that's the big one. I got my cottage pie, and uh, so it looks like it's a meat mixture with mashed potatoes and then cheese melted on top. Let me try a little bit before I use any gravy. It's really good. Probably don't even need gravy, but let me try a little bit of gravy, see if I like that. Pretty damn good, guys. Pretty damn good. meal 330 baht so like around 10 bucks give or take a lot of food a little pricier than uh, the local little places but you know i can't get the cottage pie at the local thai places where i live so this is good for me once twice a week come over here to freshella or some other western places get a little taste of some western food so good so good it's like everything's made from scratch here no preservatives, none of all this crap. Not that I think. I don't know. I definitely feel healthier. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my blood pressure. We're going to head over to the pharmacy. I'm going to drop Phi off at work. We'll head to the pharmacy. I'll tell you about that. I'm at the pharmacy. I'm going to pick up some medication. This is my blood pressure medicine. And since I've been back since last December, I used to take 100 milligrams. Now I'm down to 50 milligrams. So my blood pressure has been going down. I've been relaxed, I've lost weight. I think it's because of this, you know, the diet here. I'm not eating all that processed food like I was before. Now this medication, let's go see how much it is. This is uh, the Thai generic and uh, it's Losartan. In America, the regular brand is called Kozar. Losartan is a generic and um, it's pretty cheap medication. So I'm gonna go in here. I have like a membership number here. I think I get 10% off. Other people have told me about this place. There's that they have a really big one in Pattaya and Pattaya Nua. It's called Tassino. And they also have one out here in Najong Tien, close to where I live. So let's see how much this is. Sweaty cap. And they're very nice here. Uh, real nice, no problems. Uh, two, uh, uh, song. <laughs> song. Granny's learning the Thai numbers. Okay, okay. yeah, Something yeah, else? so 50 milligrams, yes. yeah, yeah. How much, how much? Because mm -hmm. I, I make video, tell them how much, my friends. 258 baht each box, right? In box, yes. Yeah, yeah, so about 500 baht, that's uh, 15 bucks. There's gonna be a little discount when I put my phone number in, I'll let you know. Okay, so it was uh, like 550 baht, then I got my little discount like 10% off, about 490 baht. So probably about 14 bucks for two boxes of this medication. That is, uh, what's the dose? 30 tablets, so two months worth of the medication. 
And then people say, well, Greeny, you can get the medication in Thailand. Why do you bring it from America? Well, when I get this from America, one vial is a 90 day supply. Plus I get the 100 milligram, cut those in half. So you're looking at six months supply and it usually costs me like six, eight US dollars with my you know, insurance or if I use that app, the uh, one of the like MedRx or one of those apps, I get it for much cheaper. So that's why I do it when I'm just there. If I'm not there, it's no big deal. I'll just buy it here. But, you know, that's why That's why if I can just, when I go home, I'll bring a bunch and just saves me a little bit of money. All right, I was planning on heading into the golf range. It's pretty, uh, pretty nasty out. I'm gonna run home, take a little break and uh, maybe we'll pick things up later. Well, I got rained out the other day. Today's another day. It's like crazy weather, you know, just the storms, they come and not today, it's beautiful. That's the thing with the rainy season here. It's not rainy every day. I mean, we get a lot of good weather. I've noticed lately that uh, as I've gotten into the end of August, September, it's, it's, it's been more stormy, it's been more stormy than before. You know, the rainy season here starts whatever, June. It's not that bad, it's really nice. It's been great weather. But lately, we've been getting a lot of rain and storms. It's been cloudy for the last several days. It feels good today to have some sunshine and it's like you know you just feel better when the sun's on i mean you know that cloudy gives you a headache i don't know the extra humidity with my buddy julian he's gonna give me some golf lessons so yeah. i gotta take him i gotta take him out to lunch first so we're over here on jump tian beach he told me about this pizza place over here we're way down jump tian to the south end and i'll show you guys the pizza in a minute uh it might it might be it's all one place. They got rescue coffee, rescue pizza, 166 rescue. So this is it. All the way down jump to you. All right, here's pizza number one. This one's pepperoni, onions, and mushrooms. Looks like they got a little oregano on top. Capcun cup. Mm -hmm. And then we got one more of margarita. I'll show you what that looks like. A little bit of flop, Julian. <laughs> Pretty good, pretty good. Kind of a Thai style pizza a little bit, I think. Not really the Italian style, more the Thai style. A little bit of a sweet sauce. Good cheese though. And um, the bread is, uh, it's not that crunchy, but it's pretty good. All right, there's the margarita. Looks pretty good. Some uh, basil on top. Let's try a little slice of the margarita. Oh, this one's cooked a little better, no flop. Hot. Oh, it's good with that basil on top. Mm. The margarita pizza, one thing that we should mention, I think it's only uh, 186 baht, something like that. So, uh, yeah, very reasonable pizza over here, right on the beach. You can sit outside and look right at the ocean. Let me show you guys the outside. So this is the outside of the place here, guys. Look at this view. Oh my God. They got a coffee shop pizza shop Thai food and you just sit out here and look at that I guess you don't need to have the best food if you get the best view at night you go up these stairs oh really oh they got a bar here too huh oh okay oh look at this little market is this that market this is that so this is not the Jump Tian Night Market, that's down there, but this is like a little vendor thing they have down here. This one's called the Big the big Market uh, Jump Tian. Wow, okay. So they just they just got bought out, and uh, this is all new owners now, too. Okay, yeah, I'm going to have to come here one night and check it out. And you can walk all the way down this to the other side, right? Second road? Yeah, it's a lot bigger than the uh, Night Market Jump Tian. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, way, it's probably like three times bigger. Wow. Yeah. You guys are that three times bigger than the regular Jump Tian Night Market, the big market. I'm gonna come and check this out. Okay, we made it to the driving range. Check this place out, guys. Pretty nice, just right off Sukhumvit Road in Jump Tian. This place is called Greenway, Greenway Golf Club. Looks like you got two levels here. Pretty sweet, let's go check it out. Oh, Julian's gonna be blasting it over the fence there. Look at that, only 200 yards.
have to do that drill with the medicine with the yoga ball. You want to lay down on the yoga ball and you have to turn your body like this. Because right now you're not, you're not turning, you're just using your hands. And when you just use your hands, you're, you're not going to turn. All right, this guy just gave me some golf lessons, and I found out he's leaving me. He's leaving Thailand. He's heading back to America. So check out the next video. I'm going to do a little interview with him to find out if he knows what he's getting into heading back to America. Stay tuned for that next. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Greenie out. And subscribe.